here are some notes on the lab findings in Cushing syndrome. Cushing syndrome is a condition of excess glucocorticoids, which can be caused by either abnormal endogenous cortisol production or high dose exogenous steroid treatments. There are some key lab findings and some mechanisms for each. Cushing syndrome can cause a hypokalemic metabolic alkalosis. This is because excess cortisol mimics aldosterone at the mineral corticoid receptor, and it causes low potassium and alkalosis. Remember, aldosterone causes high sodium, low potassium, and low hydrogen ions, which is an alkalosis. Cushing syndrome can also cause an elevated leukocyte count. The excess glucocorticoids increases your leukocyte production and regulation. This also causes an immunosuppression response. So don't get confused that because you have an immunosuppression, you have low white blood cells. It's actually the opposite. You have high white blood cells despite having immunosuppression. Cushing syndrome also causes glucose intolerance and hyperglycemia. The excess glucocorticoids increases your blood glucose levels. And there's also an elevated 24-hour urine cortisol level. This is the primary diagnostic test for Cushing. Speaking of the diagnostic process, your initial diagnosis is made with an elevated 24-hour urinary cortisol, and further testing can include plasma ACTH levels, plasma cortisol, dexamethasone suppression tests, which helps you to differentiate between pituitary and ectopic ACTH sources, and also imaging studies if you're looking for an adenoma, for instance. Some notes on the pathophysiology. There's normal regulation of cortisol in the body that includes a negative feedback loop. So your hypothalamus makes CRF, which then signals to your pituitary to release ACTH, which signals to your adrenal glands to release cortisol, which should then have an inhibitory effect on the CRF and the ACTH. Cushing syndrome occurs when this feedback loop is disrupted by various causes. We already mentioned some of the causes up here, but more specifically, it can be caused by exogenous steroids, pituitary adenoma, ectopic ACTH production, which can come from the lung, the pancreas, or the thymus, and also adrenal problems like hyperplasia, adenoma, or carcinoma.